couple of examples of kind of how that's fostered your leadership? Okay, well, um, most of the clubs that I participated in, it's, our school focuses a lot about like, encouraging their students to start their own clubs. Mm -hmm. um, there's, since there's like a limited amount of teachers at our school and advisors, um, it is about, you know, the students setting out to start a club and they have to, you know, plan out how it's going to, how everything's going to work. Um, the clubs that have been started have been by the seniors that just graduated. So there was ITA, which stands for Engaging Teens in Humanitarian Action. And I was a part of that my, was it my fresh, freshman year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> freshman year. Mm -hmm. And um, another one was HOPE, which stands for Human Organization for Preserving the Environment. And I'm still a part of that. Um, what I like about this, about this is that it's basically student run. All you need is an advisor. Mm -hmm. So. You go, to, you go to your meetings, you do whatever you have to do, and it's the students who are the ones looking for different opportunities for everybody to participate in. And they recently started um, SAVE, which is a, a group also focusing on stopping animal cruelty, and it's also student-run, of course. Um, some of the things I've accomplished, I feel I've accomplished, is that I was the 11th grade representative this year for ASB, which is what I had to do, just report to you know my grade level um, to see what they wanted. And, Next year, I'll be running for president, and I think I'll also be taking over HOPE, which is the environmental group, because since it was started by the seniors last year, um, instead of having it die off, we do want to keep it going, because this is something I am passionate about. Leadership opportunities at our school, when they do come around, people automatically assume that you have to be a top student to receive those opportunities, but at our school, they truly like everybody to shine. So everybody receives, for the most part, everybody receives, you know, an opportunity to, to take the, for example, um, we had Chinese people visit our school, people from, um, from China that are either superintendents, pre um, principals, or teachers at the schools, and they asked certain students to take them around, but they didn't exclude anyone. It was just, you know, somebody who, who had the who was fluent in the language and who, who had the opportunity to go and show them around. But our school doesn't like to exclude anyone. We like to give equal opportunities to everyone. And again, it's like always going to be if the student wants to take those opportunities, if they search for, you know, for, the, for the chances to do things, it's going to happen. For example, Mr. Wozniak started uh, taking students to World Affair Councils. And you go and you meet very important people, but those opportunities aren't just going to be given to you. You have to also want them. But again, like I said, nobody gets excluded. Um, whatever you want to do at our school, really, they just encourage our school just encourages you to do everything you want, just to get out of this, the idea that you have to be a 4.0 student to do everything. Like I said, from where we come from, people just get—I mean—they discourage really easily. So our school, that's a big focus: is just encouraging everybody. That everybody has an equal opportunity if you really want it. That's fabulous. Thank you. So, Judy, I'm going to turn to you. Obviously, 